We will now demonstrate a two-layer closure using a single strand of the quill unidirectional barbed suture. We have the needle here and a little loop. And here we are looking at a surgical defect after excision. We will be approximating the deep dermal layer with a quill device. So with this suture, I'm going to do a whole layer of deep sutures and then come back and do a whole layer of superficial sutures. We begin by taking a bite of the designated anchoring tissue medial to the apex of the excision. Pass the needle through the variable loop and pull in order to tighten the loop and create the fixation point. Then we take at least two loose bites of the tissue to be approximated in a simple, continuous fashion. Now, the device can be grasped and the tissue can be approximated to the desired tension. This helps anchor the quill device and ensures even distribution of tension. The barbs on the quill device retract flush with the suture during deployment and then anchor into the tissue for secure fixation. We then proceed with the closure of the deep dermis by running the quill device in a simple, continuous fashion. And some people like to make most of these sutures loose in the beginning and then pull them tight. I like to tighten them each time. Now that the deep dermis is approximated, we can close the superficial layer with the same quill device. In a running subcuticular fashion, take equal bites of the tissue in the horizontal plane of the upper dermis. It is important to come directly across the tissue line when deploying the device in the subcuticular layer to ensure good apposition. Okay, coming to the very end here. I'll come out and then I'm going to do the reverse. Once the apex has been reached, make the appropriate backstitch towards the midline of the incision. Once the back stitch is complete, simply exit lateral to the incision, coming out of the superficial skin, and then cut flush. <laughs>